Okay, I've been asked a few times to um, to explain how I tie these weed flies. First off, I'm going to start off with the um, unweighted version. So what I'm going to do, the hooks that I'm using is just a, a, a shrimp um, caddis hook. It's actually a trout hook um, in a size 10. So the important thing for this is to um, make sure you wash it after um, to retain uh, to get the salt out of it. So first off we'll tie her in, tighten it in. I'm just using some um, flat wax nylon, just um, in green. It's a very very quick um, fly to tie, to, um, tie up. Let's trim it off. I always like to just put a little whip finish just to secure it in. All right, the material I'm using is actually from um, Lincraft or Spotlight. You can get it. It's a um, tapestry ball. You just get it to um, to match the colour that you're after. The way that I measure it up, I always just do a um, run about that that kind of length. Cut it off. Halve it. then halve it again. So you'll have four pieces in total. Okay. Grab two of them. And then just tie them onto the shank of the hook. A couple of wraps and then fold them back. As you can see, I fold them back like that. And just to secure it down. What we're doing is we're actually building the the fly up, just a quick whip finish to um to um, secure that little bit because after a few fish they can um, can actually loosen that material if you don't give them a to tie them off. Another whip finish up towards there, and then these ones, as you see, it actually goes back and it fills in that gap. And once we use the um, velcro it fluffs it out so once again tie it on fold it back a couple of wraps to tie it down you can using the green thread it actually um, yeah it doesn't matter if it it's not the most neatest of flies the blackfish seem to love it I'll just double whip finish cut the thread off. I'm just using a little bit of um, UV glue to um, to secure it all into place. That's it. Then get your, um, your hook section of the Velcro. You can just cut them off to various sizes. You can put them on paddle pop sticks and so on, but I find it fine with just using your hand. Rough it up a bit. And that's it. So as you can see, once it goes into the water, it's a small little piece of weed. The fish seem to take in a lot better and that caddis hook, because it's a bit rounded, seems to um, have a better success in hooking them up. And um, yeah, so that's our trailing fly. Alright, so our next one, we want to do a weighted fly. Um, that's the bomb fly, which I tie on um, first up along um, the middle of the, the leader, and then we tie the leader from the shank of that and have the trailing fly. I'm just using the Ludric hooks that you can buy at the um, local tackle store. You can use various different styles. I like them just a little bit longer, just because you can then um, put a little bit more weight on, on it. So now we're using uh, 0 0.035 
lid. Um, so I'll just quickly tie this thread on. Secure it on. Bind it like that. And then we're just going to wrap the lead around the shank of the hook. This will just get the the unweighted fly down there. Um, this method that I've been using, it's worked quite well. So I just put a couple of wraps of um, of thread around it just to secure it down a little bit. All right, we've got that. Another material that I've been practicing or been experimenting with is a merino wool. Um, same kind of weed green as um, as the uh, the cabbage on the rocks. It's got a little thread just to hold it together. It's just a little bit woollier. It seems to build out the fly a little bit easier on that on the bigger ones weighted. So exactly what we did before. You just make up a, a few different sections. We'll bring it down a little bit more. Tie that one on. Fold it around just so it covers that um, shank of the hook and the weight. Bring it up. Another little section like that, okay. Towards the front. I'd probably think about 90% um, of your fish will be caught on that unweighted fly. As I said, this is just to get the fly down. Finish it off. A couple of whiff finishes. One, another one just to lock it in. Like that. Cut it off. The UV some glue. And just penetrate through into the um the binding. And that's it, as you can see. It covers the um the hook. And um that's all we need to get started on the, the blackfish. Now we'll um we'll go and see how to catch them. Alrighty, what I'm actually gonna do is go down. I've got a little weed fly what we tied earlier on. And then a bomb weed fly. That gets the fly down low. And then this one just floats in the background. I'll show you how we do it.
So that's it. Just slow little figure eights coming in. The um, blackfish took that um, trailing fly. Little, um, it's a little caddis hook. Oh yeah, that's what you can do. Nice and hooked in the mouth. And we'll just let him go. All done.